What's going on over here is Joel here at Veering's RV Center. Let's check out this brand new line of campers for Sunset Trailers. Um, this is going to be the Sunlight. Now this is the LTD lineup, so a little larger camper than they usually make, but still great value, still great construction, Amish built. But these are going to be little bigger floor plans, all under 3,000 pounds. Like this one here is a 19RK floor plan, so it's a rear kitchen and it comes in at 2,800 pounds. The overall length from the front tongue to the back bumper is gonna be 21 feet, eight inches. Um, we have six foot, six inches height on the inside. So if you're taller, you can definitely stand up inside pretty comfortably. And then we'll have some good size tanks on this as well. We have 26 gallons of fresh water, 28 gallons of gray and black. So you can get out boondocking for some time without having to um, replenish yourselves. So we have the front curve here on the front profile here. So good aerodynamics on this little sunlight camper. Got your front manual tongue here. We will put on the propane tank and battery here. And then on the side here, what they did here is they put in a battery disconnect switch so you can kill power to the battery. That way, if you have it in storage, you don't drain down that battery. Off the door side, we have your pasture storage, which you can access under the bed as well on the inside. Manual jacks in all four corners. Up top here they do the Lippard prep for the ladder. So you can buy the ladder to get up on the roof, which is a fully walkable roof. So three decking on the roof, so it's fully walkable. Coming down the side, we have your connections for your fresh water and city water. Now they do a pull out power cord here, it'll be 30 amp service, and it pulls on out. It's about 25 feet in length to get, to get you plugged on in. Outside shower with hot and cold water. And then there's the valves for your dump stations for your black sewer water and your gray wastewater. Bumper there's hollow for your sewer hose. Spare tire will be back there on the back. And then we have a DSI gas six gallon water heater there on the back. And this is a rear kitchen, so that's the window to your kitchen area. And then this is gonna be a rear entry door down the side here with a large power awning and another big window there. So this actually is a pretty cool floor plan as you walk inside here. You will see straight ahead is the bathroom. And then again, here's that back kitchen with a huge sink, high rise faucet, two burner cooktop right there, some cabinets down below. Got your plumbing in there. What's in this cabinet here? Shelf and then space down below there. And then that's that water heater and then cabinets above so some good sp space in here we have an outlet right here so one thing i noticed walking through this is that there's not a microwave so this spot here could be for one where you put one in here yourself and then you can plug it in up top there so a lot of rvers don't use the microwaves all the time so in this layout you can if you want one put one in if not you don't need to pay for it and then we have a furnace blowout right there so it's gonna be 16,000 BTU furnace on board and here are your controls to operate the camper water pump gas hot water heater lights awning control and then these buttons will tell your levels of um, your tanks and your battery and this does have on board a 100 watt solar panel so you can get some extra life out of the battery by having that solar panel already installed on the roof and here's that bathroom for you. So full bathroom. We got sink, we got mirror, and we have your shower. Shower curtain, shower pan down there. Foot flush toilet. And I like how they put in some large shelves here for a linen closet per se. All right, so next thing in the kitchen, it will be this 4.3 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator by Everchill with an open space up above here for storage but this is going to be decent size refrigerator in the smaller trailer but then let's look over here at the main floor plan so a rear kitchen so your bed's in the front comes with a jackknife sofa and this flip up tabletop here which overlooks that patio window with a couple of stools so you can sit here pull this out here you can work on your laptop if you want to work from home work on the road in your camper look outside your huge window here 
and it does slide open the long way to let a lot of breeze in got a light control i'm sorry this actually control here is looks like to power on the refrigerator with your Dometic furnace control right there pull down shades for some privacy but i thought it was a cool addition to this camper you know if you don't want if you don't need four person dining table you can sit here again eat some meals look outside and then your large bed back here with a side wardrobe nice size shelf above there usb port with an outlet and then you can mount a tv here as well with your hookups up above and then above the jackknife sofa will be some more cabinets and your side mounted ac system and one thing i like about this jackknife sofa is that when it jackknifes to lay flat to make a bed it actually is pretty flat if you can tell in the camera view there's not a big hump so i know sometimes one side is a little plusher than the other side so it's kind of awkward to sleep in for your extra guest but this actually lays pretty flat and under this this will be your fresh water tank and then your fuse box over there but this is a pretty nice camper for a smaller um, lightweight travel trailer so any questions want to buy it call me 616-965-9623 let me know what you think below in the comments did you want a microwave do you like the flip up table there there again 616-965-9623 thanks for watching have a great day